Hello, I'm Philip Bersupan and this is my application for the Software Sustainability Institute Fellowship Program 2020. When I'm not busy baking cookies in the shape of my favorite programming language, I work as an ecological statistician for the British Trust for Ornithology. I started my career as a field ecologist and with a strong interest in how the environment shapes the distribution and behaviors of birds and other animals. Over the years, my work has become more quantitative and more computational, driven by my desire of measuring and modeling these interactions. The need to process and analyze observational data sets that are often very large and messy got me interested in coding and led me to become more and more involved in research software creation. Alongside my research, I learned multiple programming languages, I wrote a couple of R packages, I became a carpentry instructor, and I started to review software for journals like JOS and TORS. I chose my current job at the Bridge Trust for Ornithology precisely because it is at the interface between ecology, statistical modeling, and research software engineering. In my day-to-day -day work, I do research into statistical models for large citizen science data sets, and I also consult across the organization providing advice on data processing and statistical analysis and on ways to implement these computationally. The BTO has been conducting bird population monitoring for decades and many of our data products form the basis for environmental policy and conservation action. To create these data products, the science department at the BTO uses a software stack that has evolved over more than 20 years and as a result is showing some signs of aging. At the moment, I'm helping to refactor the software stack, modularizing it and future-proofing it. However, like me, most of my colleagues are not software engineers, but ecologists with largely self-taught coding skills. At the same time, the data sets used to underpin biodiversity monitoring and conservation planning are becoming ever larger, and the statistical method methods to analyze them are becoming more complex. It therefore becomes more and more important that software stacks and conservation science are not only correct and efficient, but that they are also well organized and well documented. I would like to leverage this fellowship to improve coding skills and software engineering knowledge in conservation science, both within my organization and beyond. I spend part of my working time at the David Attenborough Building in Cambridge, which is home to a multitude of nature conservation NGOs and research groups. It would be an ideal venue to host activities supported by the Fellowship. We already run a VTO internal R user group built on peer learning, and I am involved in organizing a statistical ecology journal club with colleagues from multiple conservation NGOs. I would like to grow and strengthen these community initiatives by using the fellowship funding to run two workshops at the David Attenborough building. One, a more basic software carpentry based training event to strengthen coding skills for conservation scientists. And secondly, a more advanced workshop for more experienced analysts in the community on software design principles, documentation, and software testing for reproducible analysis. I thoroughly enjoyed participating in the Citizen Science Hackathon that was organized by the British Ecological Society earlier this year, and I believe organizing a hackathon for conservation science would form a great final activity during my fellowship. Lastly, I would like to use the fellowship to keep improving my own technical knowledge and network. As a charity, we have very limited funds for conference and workshop travel. I would like to use some of the funding to be able to attend computationally focused meetings such as the International Statistical Ecology Conference or the 2020 UK RSE Conference. So in the spirit of the SSI motto, I hope that better software not only leads to better research, but also to better conservation action. And with that, I'd like to thank you for considering my application.